Welcome to the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. With winner's jaw dropping moments from Japan's figure skating star Izuru Hanyu's attempt to land the first quad axle in history, to Eileen Gu staggering 16 20 in free ski big air. The rising star from Team China also brought to social media the details of this complex maneuver. Those acrobatic movements must be performed precisely in a specific order, all within a split second. So how do human brains memorize what seems like complicated information? Our memorization or cognitions are the results of activities of large areas of our brains. But our research focuses on the prefrontal cortex, or PFC, which is this area of the brain behind the forehead. I talked to Professor Tang Xuming, whose research on the neural mechanism of sequence working memory in the journal Science was published as the Olympic Games were ongoing. Professor Tang and his colleagues have unlocked this mystery. From the movements of bigger jumping or dancing to memorizing a string of telephone numbers or a work schedule, your brain does not memorize them in one big chunk. Instead, and cut them into smaller portions. Our brains tend to store memories that occurred at different points of time individually. It's very much like extracting still frames from a motion picture and storing them in your prefrontal cortex in the brain, where a group of neurons is in charge of coding each of those frames by labeling them with a certain state of neuron firing. Within the same group of neurons, some may light up for the first event, but dim for the second one. That's how the same group of neurons record different events. When you try to recall the memory, the neurons will light up in turn to tell you the right order of those events. Researchers owe this new finding to a monkey that is trained to memorize objects and a new technology called two-photon imaging, which allows them to observe the monkey's neuronal activities in real time. However, this memorization process known as working memory only allows us to remember things for a limited time because of its low information capacity. It works best for information that's crucial for the time being, or perhaps not so much after 20 years. When we first begin to memorize something new, we employ our working memory. It is incredible that when you have to memorize it in the long run, another area of your brain the cerebral cortex takes over. That said, short-term and long-term memory are interchangeable. That's probably the most scientific interpretation of practice makes perfect, a process of our brains turning brief working memory into a more lasting form, long-term memory. For athletic, this process leads to a form of memory you may have heard before, muscle memory. It allows athletes to perform complex acrobatic movements in a blink of an eye. Why do our brains reserve this functionality of flexible working memory? What does it mean for the future development of artificial intelligence? This is worth studying. Let's leave that task to the scientists. For the time being, let's enjoy the Winter Olympic Games. 